so drawn this morning. That bloody dog kept me awake. And there was that thing in the sky. The radio says it was an electrical storm, but I don't know what it was. This morning, I found some dead birds in the garden. I'm sorry to hear that. I wonder if it might have had something to do with the atmospheric conditions. Why, Stephen will probably know. I'll give him a call in a bit. Wendy, I've popped around because we've had some incidents with some of the more elderly residents. Mrs. Bout has, well, vanished, for want of a better word. Wandered off somewhere, no doubt. I thought I'd best check and see you're all right. The council are talking about a flu epidemic. Yes, well, I'm not sure it's flu as such. But uh, no headaches, nosebleeds, no joint pains or digestive issues. Dr. Wade, I'm as fit as a fiddle. Go and find some real sick people to look after. And if you see that son of mine, tell him that his mother's looking for him. Just for a few days, yeah. First thing in the morning. I don't want the kids to catch this flu if it's going round. It's probably that father, Jeremy, spreading it around while he tries to bully everyone into donations for the summer fete. It seems very quiet in the village, actually, Wendy. Not much bullying to be done. Oh, father, I didn't know you were here. Clearly. Listen, I came up here to tell Amanda that we've had some vandalism in the village. Must be a teenage thing. Tagging, I think they call it. Someone's painting all over doors and things. Little vandals. Well, I'll tell Neil to make sure we're properly locked up when we go. A good man like my Eddie, God. And these thugs and yobs running around defacing property. He gave everything to his country, and look what he got in return. Nothing but an early death. He had a good life, Wendy. He had a short life. I look to my birds, Father. 
Lives lived unencumbered, free and simple. That's as God meant things to be. Every computer in the observatory has set itself to 607 a.m. June 6th, 1984. I don't understand what that means. Said there was a problem with Harvey. Said he couldn't get through to the vet, so I said I'd come round and take a look. There's a lot of dead birds today. More here, too, poor little things. I've been trying to get hold of Steve, and he always knows what to do. Got round here, and no sign of either of them. With any luck, the stupid creature will have run under a car. It's probably rabies. Come on, boy. Come on, Harvey. Come on, Harvey. Come on, boy. Harvey. Harvey. Thing. You push it. I told you it would get stuck. I should have just taken the car. This was a stupid idea. <laughs> Moving here was a stupid idea. And I told you, Barbara said they blocked the roads. Oh, oh, you go and look then. Wait, is that Harvey? Harvey? Harvey! Harvey! Here, boy! Come here, boy!
phone call from Stephen. He wants to shut down the receiver. Something about instances across the valley. There's intermittent electrostatic discharges radiating out of Tower 6. All of the electrics on the main gate are blown. I'll find time to take a look once the data stream begins to calm down here. I'm married. You have to stop this. He's still sweet on you, Elizabeth. He left. It's too late. You loved each other long before she came along. It's just about making things as they should be. Wendy, no. It's not like you won't bump into each other anyway. One drink, what can that hurt? <sighs> One drink, maybe. Oh, one drink, wonderful. Should we go down? Just leave it. We've got to keep moving. Sean! We can't just leave him. He must be really badly hurt. Jesus, Diana, we've got the kid in the car. We should just keep driving. We can't just drive off and... Look! He's there. He's in the car. Oh, oh he's hurt. We've got to get down there. I said, leave him. We've got to get out of the valley while we can. Oh, my God, he's trying to undo his suitbelt. There we are. He's fine now.
at your death. They're all dead, Father. All of my birds. Here. Take my jacket. I tried to be a good woman. A Christian woman. But I've been proud. Just as the Lord forgave you, so also should you. What matters is we try our best. God sees that. Come back to the village with me. I'm not so far from Stevens now. I need to find my son. It's what Eddie would have done. Yes. I suppose it is. I'll say a prayer for you. Thank you, Father. She loved you, you know, Mary. You helped her. I'm sorry if I judged you harshly. It doesn't matter, ma'am. It's late. You, you should find a place to sleep. I'm sure when the sun comes up, everything will seem better. Is everything all right, my dear? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm all right. I'm all right. It's just... Robert. <sighs> that man doesn't deserve you. I know everybody thinks I'm just a mithering old busybody, but someone has to say what everyone else is thinking. We both know that this marriage, it's not how things are supposed to be. Are you talking about me and Robert? Or is this really about Stephen and Kate? I suppose it is. I have to accept it, I know. But she doesn't belong here. You see that, don't you? There's a place for people, and this isn't hers. Oh. But I'm not talking about the colour of her skin. Don't look at me like that. What they do up there, it's not natural. There are some things we're not supposed to understand. I don't like her, and I don't like how Stephen is around her. He was a better man when he was with you.
I've lost my shoes. I lost my shoes, sir. There's arches on the green. They've taken my shoes, sir. Howard? Howard Lantham! You open the door this instant, young man. I lost my shoes. Now get up. Get up. I lost my shoes. What on earth are you doing here, Howard? Stephen. He told me to stay in case Lizzie phoned. Stephen, where is he? What are you doing with those birds? Concentrate, Howard. Where's Stephen? He said we couldn't help them. He took my shoes so I'd stay. Listen to me, Howard Lantham. You find your shoes and you get to the village. Find Father Jeremy. He'll give you some soup or something. Be off with you. Where are you going? I'm going to find my son. Then I'm going to ask him what on earth he thinks he's doing. What's happened? Stephen, thank God. Listen, I need you to get to the junction box. See if there's a phone working. No, stay back! Don't come up here! Oh, Christ. Is that... Bloody idiots! Hmm? Where the hell did they think they were going? I think they must have thought they could walk out along the line. Well, there won't be any more trains now. You're a callous bastard, Stephen. Just pragmatic, Howard. Did you say there's a working phone in the junction box?
Rachel, darling, I'm sorry about taping over your music, but we, that is your dad and I, in case you come home, I mean, I know Mrs. Graves is looking after you over there, but just in case you come home, we wanted to let you know we're going to head over to Barb's. Evie! Evie! Sam, I'm leaving a message for Rachel. Are you going to say hello? Jesus Christ, Evie, we ain't got time for this. The bloody car won't start. We're going to have to walk. Sam, shush, it's for Rachel in case she comes back here. But Charlie says everyone's getting to... something in the observatory with me. I can feel it reaching out to me. When it's close, I'm overcome with the most profound sense of loneliness. It's me. It's Frank. Oh, Frank. The door was open. I didn't think Graham would mind. I'm sure he won't. What are you doing here? Looking for Stephen, but I just ran out of steam. And the door was open. Have you listened to the radio? I thought I heard him on the radio before. It's all over the valley. Don't you get that? This isn't some abstract thing. Whatever came down into the tower has got out. They've quarantined the whole valley. It's right here in the observatory. It's out in the world. It's adapting and spreading. Do you understand? What's he mean? We can't turn it away. What's he talking about? I don't know, But if he's on the radio, I can try and reach him on the CB. You go to Stephen's house, and if I get hold of him, I'll tell him to come and find you. Thing. Jesus! Come on, not now! Jesus, come on, you bastard! Start! Start, you bastard! Come on! Gah. Stephen? 
Stephen, are you here? It's your mother. Answer me. Stephen! Zero, zero, seven, zero, three, one, six, zero, six. 